Photographers and art directors, you're gonna love Stipple. This is a system that sits on top of your photos or your imagery and lets you study it, change it, tell people a story through it, monetize your images, no matter where they are, whether they get reused on Facebook or Pinterest or on a, on a website somewhere. We're gonna learn about it right now, Stipple. Who are you? Uh, my name is Ray Flemings. I'm the founder and chief executive officer of Stipple. Um, I'm a longtime lover of the arts and media, photographer, um, and uh, we started Stipple a couple of years ago here in the city. Uh, and we've, we're really focusing in on, on changing and, and reimagining photos online and fixing all of the problems uh, around images and, and, and hopefully making them smart. Yeah, well this morning I'm hanging out with uh, Chase Jarvis, who's a famous photographer. And when you, when you talk to photographers or art directors, people who make imagery, things that go, you know, that brand, build brands or, or uh, imagery that sells, like I know uh, several wedding photographers, they care about where those images get used. And they also care about getting credit for those images. And they care about maybe if there's something in the photo that can be sold, they care about monetizing. Do you solve all that? Well, listen, let's be, let's be honest. Uh, online images and the technology around them is, is largely broken today. We know that images are very, very popular, but the moment you publish an image online, you immediately lose control over it. Why do you lose control over it? Because anyone can make a perfect digital copy in a fraction of a second just by right-clicking it or dragging and dropping that image. And that's not awesome for photographers, for brands, for marketers, content creators, social media types. Why? Uh, well, it's not that the web should be a place where you're trying to control where your content goes, and that's not the point of Stipple. But you certainly should be able to remain connected to your content. You certainly deserve credit where credit is due. Yep. Uh, if you've created awesome content and people are sharing it, you certainly deserve uh, attribution. Um, and people want information. As, uh, as the entity or the person who creates content or image content, uh, you know its story. You know what's going on in the photos that you took and who you're photographing and uh, where it took place and you know, potentially what they're wearing and what the objects are. Uh, and you're in the best position to communicate accurately what's inside the photo. Yeah. And when audiences see your photo, they'd love to know that information. And so this, this whole issue of being disconnected from your photo the moment you publish it hurts everyone, not just the photographer, consumers and web users and brands, content creators, really everyone, because at the end of the day it makes images dumb. Every republication of an image separates an image from its story, separates an image from its owner, and, uh, and makes it further and further away from accurate information. Yep. So I have 3,000 images or more than that up on Flickr. Can I stipulize all those images? Or, and, and how do I get started with Stipple? Absolutely. So Stipple is free to get started. Uh, you can simply uh, sign up for an account beginning July 26th or today. Um, you come in, it's a very quick you know, registration process, no credit card, no fees, absolutely free to get started. Uh, connect uh, your images via Flickr uh, through our interface. And at that point, you can begin to attribute and tell your story through your images. Um, so you'll notice uh, an import feature. Uh, when you connect your Stipple uh, library to Flickr, import all of your images and, uh, and claim those images as yours. Uh, every image will then have a very beautiful attribution card and you'll be in control of what that says. So, you know, Robert Scoble, go to your photo blog or your website or wherever it is you want to point it to, your social services. That information you add to the photo won't just live on Stipple. Everywhere that we see that image on the internet, we're going to re-add your attribution card to that image every time we see and encounter that image. So here we got to some piece of magic. Because how if my images have been are on Wikipedia, they're on Facebook, they're, and not just on my account, they're all over the place. How do you find all those places that an image has been used and apply that Stipple information to it? When you connect your images to Stipple, we fingerprint your images. We develop a couple of histograms. One to tell uh, that that image, uh, essentially one unique fingerprint and one similarity fingerprint. So the first fingerprint allows us to tell it apart from any image, even if the image was taken a fraction of a second before or after. And the other allows us to relate it to similar images. Uh, and I can talk more about that later. But once that image has been fingerprinted, anytime we encounter an image on the internet, and we encounter images one of several ways, 
We index websites in our publisher network. We offer a uh, browser plugin. Anyone who joins Stipple uh, also gets the viewer so that as you surf the web, uh, you encounter images. We also offer embed codes and other methods. But anytime we see an image, we fingerprint it. And if that fingerprint matches your fingerprint, the information that you've added to it, your attribution, or any dots that you've placed on top of it, will be served out to that image in a fraction of a second. And for the avoidance of doubt, that includes things like uh, normal editing. So if you start with an image that's 2,500 pixels wide and you publish it at 250 pixels wide, Stipple will still fingerprint that image and put the dots on top of it. If you turn that image black and white, Stipple will still fingerprint that image and put the correct information with the correct image sub-second. How does it do that? <laughs> a lot of work. A lot of, these gray hairs in my head and my chin. Uh, a lot of work from our team to, to essentially if you take, make. If you take a picture of the two of us and then you crop it just to here, how does it still know that this is a piece of the original image? So um, a piece of an original image would not work. Resizing okay. would work. Gotcha. But if I, if I took a, a, a full image of you and cut it in half, those would be two different images. Okay. Um, resizing, uh, we are extremely tolerant of resizing. Um, if you strip out all the metadata, change its file type, so you change it from a JPEG to a PNG, Stipple still works. Um, if you change its file name, strip out the metadata, et cetera, et cetera. But if I take it into Instagram, for instance, and black and white it or put a filter on it, it still sees It that? will work black and white, and it depends on how many changes the filter actually makes to the pixels. We're fingerprinting the pixels, and so if you changed all the color values, let's say to red, it would be a different image. Uh, and so at some point the fingerprinting will not work. Okay, it's still pretty cool. Yeah. Because um, most people don't, you know, don't go into Instagram and, and radically change the image. Uh, so it doesn't find all the permutations. It will find most of the common ones. Which most of the common ones. And, and frankly, and once you've changed it. So let's say you wanted in Photoshop or any other service, uh, Lightroom, et cetera, to make a bunch of changes to your image. Make the changes to the image and then we'll find all copies of the changed image. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. So for uh, something like Etsy or Pinterest, this is probably pretty cool, because, or Zappos, because they can index all their images and then apply all sorts of fun things on top of them, like a link to the page where they're going to monetize, right? So one of the things that we're most excited about is the ability to auto-tag catalogs. So you've got all of this great product imagery that spawned a bunch of really wonderful web services, the fancy Pinterest, Supply, and a host of others, Winalo, et cetera, et cetera. And the behavior is consumers looking at things that they want and curating them. Hey, these are, are products that I'm interested in, et cetera. But the shopping experience around these, these product bookmarking services is very uneven. You look at a Pinterest photo and there's a young lady wearing a blouse, a skirt, and a pair of heels. Someone's pinned it. Why did they pin it? Did they pin it because they like the shoes? Did they like the blouse? You click it. If the person pinned it from the product page for that whole outfit, awesome, you can find all of the products. But more likely than not, they pinned it from a Tum blog or somewhere else. So when you click through the image, you can't find the products. Yeah. Uh, using Stipple, we allow all of those products to be tagged accurately and to be easily identified. Now, uh, with the Stipple viewer, a user will be able to mouse over that photo and not need to click at all. You can simply touch the blouse. The blouse will tell you what it is and how much it costs. And you know that that price will be accurate because it updates automatically in real time back to the product feed of the vendor. And uh, this also allows the companies whose products are in the image to measure them and actually figure out if a person liked the shoes more than the blouse or the skirt more than the, more than the shoes. Um, we are going to extend that capability uh, with our new service announced today down to um, to essentially anyone who's selling products online. If you have an Etsy store, um, literally you can enter the URL of your Etsy store and Stipple will automatically tag every image in your catalog and point it back to the appropriate product page uh, on Etsy. And so literally if you've got 500 products on your Etsy store, you enter in, into Stipple the URL of your Etsy store and we'll do all the rest of the work. You don't have to actually go in there and tag this product goes to that link and this product goes yeah. to that link. We'll do it all automatically via the Etsy API and everywhere your images go on the web, um, people will be able to mouse over and find out where to buy them. How does that connect back to the social shopping sites like Pinterest? Um, I read somewhere that, that Etsy is the number one source uh, of images on Pinterest. Yeah. Somewhere between 3 and 5% uh, were the estimates that I had read. Uh, literally all of those images would be permanently linked back 
to the stores that are selling those images, wow. providing attribution. We believe that giving credit where credit is due is important. Yep. And um, you know, and at the same time, uh, we we don't want to be adverse to publishers. We support publishers as well. And so there are publishers who you know who will grab a product and will publicize it and say this is awesome, and we'll show that to their audience. We also provide source linking back to the publishers that popularize stories. And so we're really trying to benefit. The, uh, the, the rights holder or the yep. origin or the seller of an image, uh, you know, the, the original owner of an image, along with the publishers that make it popular along the way. How are you going to make money? Are, are, are you charging a fee for a, a store to, to apply these tags, or are you getting a piece of the, of the commerce that's going to happen because somebody buys those shoes in that picture? The, the unique selling proposition for Stipple is the ability to uh, add information to a photo and with the assurance that that information is going to show up wherever that image goes on the internet forever. That's what we as a company sell. So if you're an Etsy seller, um, you know, we won't be taking a cut of your sales on Etsy. We won't be taking a cut of your sales on, uh, on your own blog. What yeah. Stipple is really designed to do is to distribute your information out there on the web. And we believe that companies and content creators and small business people would be willing to pay for that. Yeah. At the end of the day, if Stipple enables thousands of people who before Stipple had no way of finding out that it was your product or where to go and buy it, if we then create an image channel for your business and allow you and give you the tools to manage it, we believe that companies would be willing to pay for that. Um, we, so we, we then make money by companies uh, participating on a CPM um, or CPE basis for brand advertisers yeah. or a CPC or CPA basis. Uh, commissions essentially for e-commerce companies. So you're going to be selling that to Nike or to Procter and Gamble or to BMW to the large whatever. companies, and we also yeah. will allow small companies and small businesses to have uh, their own, uh, essentially very very small, low-priced products to 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 essentially distribute their information through their images out there but, on the web. And you show these people really nice stats on engagement, and it's not engage, engagement where that photo lives; it's engagement everywhere, right? Right. One of the one of the things that you have to get about Stipple is you've got this beautiful interface. It's a mason or grid, so you, you immediately say, oh, they're copying Pinterest. The point of Pinterest, the point of Stipple is not Stipple the destination site. We need a place for you to manage your image content, and we certainly do a beautiful job of socializing it and sharing that content. But the real magic of Stipple is that our interface allows you to monitor everything that happens with your images out on the web, uh, not just on our location. I read, you know, I, I read somewhere that um, Facebook and Pinterest represent roughly one out of 20 page views on the internet. Yeah. And so if you are a brand trying to take control of your image channel, uh, those services are wonderful services and we certainly in no way mean to disparage you know, Facebook or Pinterest. Uh, but if you're any brand, large or small, your goal shouldn't be to control one out of 20 of your image views. Yeah. Your goal should be to control 100% of your image views if you can. And that's really what Stipple is trying to fulfill, to connect brands with their images wherever those images live on the internet. It works on iPad, Android. Stipple was built using web standards, uh, JavaScript and jQuery. It works uh, in any browser. If you'd like to view Stipples on any site, so you know if you're a big Pinterest shopper or a Pinterest fan and you want to start seeing information, you will be able to download a separate plugin uh, without a Stipple account. Uh, and all the Stipple account holders will have... Will, will have that work on iPad or iPhone It'll or work Android? Uh, if you can install it in your browser, Cause um, those, those browsers don't, don't support extensions in that way. Yeah. Um, we have over 4,000 publishers in our network uh, that are also generating over a billion page views. So any of those sites will absolutely work on iPad, Android, etc. Uh, and then users will be able to install the browser plugins. And, and we're going to continue that strategy. Uh, of enabling users to see stipple dots anywhere that they want to see them. So I'd expect uh, a stipple application in the near future. So uh, you probably have an SDK that you're hoping that uh, future Apples or future Googles build into the browser so that these uh, stipples get shown. I mean, our vision, uh, we believe that, that we're keeping, uh, that we've built a system to essentially associate images with their information accurately. We believe that any web app, any game, um, any publisher, any developer should be able to access that information sub-second. Uh, so later this summer we will absolutely release APIs um, so that it, if you've got images on your site, be it you know, a, you know, a mobile app, or Pinterest, or anyone, you can pass Stipple an image, we will fingerprint that image, query our database, find out if we have any information on that image, and return it to you 
in less than a second. Very, very awesome. It's a, a real uh, step forward for photographers, and I appreciate what you're doing. Uh, where do we learn more about it? Uh, you can learn more about more about it at stipple.com, S-T-I-P-P-L-E. That's why I wanted you to do it. <laughs> spell it out. So thank you very much. Thanks, Robert. Because this video spreads in <laughs> places that we don't have control of, and exactly. we want to make sure you get your company notes. So exactly. thank you very much. No, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm.